This is Sarah, and this year of Noodle Feet's development has been all about Noodle Vision. Yeah. And this is incredibly exciting for me as his mother because this hallmarks the point in his growth where he becomes an AI in my book. And I say this because he is for the first time making his own informed decisions that I don't really have any control over. So he's deciding all on his own whether or not something he sees is or isn't something. And that's like fucking cool. So I've been hurrying to get all of this prepared for the Ars Electronica Festival at the end of the summer, where I'm exhibiting Noodle and my body of work called Mother of Machine. And my exhibit is all about coaxing people to feel empathetically towards technology. And the technology in this case is, of course, Noodle. I decided the way in which I want to present will involve placing Noodle on a pedestal like he's a proper work of art and having a large monitor behind him that displays what he's seeing. So as he actively looks out into the gallery, he will be recognizing the faces of the humans that are in the vicinity and drawing a box around their head and then deciding what percentage value they look like his mommy, which is me. I hope that people can very quickly discern that he's trying to locate his mother. And this is something that I think everyone can relate to this uh, sense of vulnerability. So what I'm hoping happens is this coaxes them to pick up one of the stuffed animals that I'm going to leave on the pedestal and then show it to him and notice that his behavior changes, like his whole temperament will shift when he sees something that he's familiar with. I'm hoping that this closes a loop. It's like empathy in action. And that's something that sticks with them after they leave the exhibit. Because again, at the end of the day, um, with all of my work, I'm just trying to get people to reframe how they relate to the technology that we encounter in everyday life. So, yeah. So in order to make a machine recognize something, you have to play around with machine learning, which is this big buzzword that we're all sick and tired of hearing. But uh, the machine learning flavor of choice that we picked, Mark and I, um, is this thing called TensorFlow. And there was a very good tutorial floating around on the internet that we followed to get the platform working on a computer so that we could train our own classifiers. And a classifier is basically, it's a thing that recognizes something that you define. And in my case, it's my face and then the shape of all of Noodle's favorite stuffed animals, Fisty and three of his new friends, which is a Hootis, Blue Ox, and a Squeaky Pizza. So those are the classifiers I'm creating. So what's involved in doing this is taking a ton of pictures of the things that you want your classifier to be trained for. And this is a tricky thing because you don't want to take too many pictures because the way that the training works is it has to go through every single one of the pictures you provide for each step of the training. The more you give it, the longer it takes. So you want to have good examples. They need to be clear enough that you can see what the thing is, pictures where stuff's overlapping that object, other things that look similar to that but aren't quite it, and of course it at different angles and stuff and at different points in the picture. Far away, close, you get the idea. So after I went around the house and Mark took a bunch of pictures of me holding these stuffed animals, like doing various weird things at different angles, um, the next step was to go through and draw actual boxes around all the things that I want my classifier to train for. And luckily somebody created this really nice application called LabelDo. It allows you to draw boxes around all of your things, label them as like the specific whatever that is that it's supposed to register, and it saves a document along with the photo that basically tells it what to look for. So everything in the box that you draw is the thing, and it's going to be comparing that against everything that's not in the box. So after you draw all of your boxes, the next step is to train your classifier. And I'm not entirely sure what happens exactly during this part, but it basically takes your folder and then you give it to TensorFlow and TensorFlow does this magic and you get to watch this little graph that it provides. Every time it does a pass and it goes through all of the images that you provided, it is working towards a uh, lower point of loss. And we found that around 3,000 passes is about the amount it takes for your loss to get low enough that your system actually starts recognizing the things in your classifier. 
That's how I understand it to work at least. The first time we, we did it, uh, I just wanted to make a classifier for Noodle's favorite stuffed animal, Fisty. And I took a bunch of pictures of Fisty. We ran the training do and it did about three passes and then stopped and we didn't notice that it stopped. So when we tested it, um, it was not very smart and it was drawing boxes around everything that it saw and labeling them as Fisty. So it was like Noodle's first time ever being confused, like actively confused, which was kind of adorable. Our second pass actually worked really well. So if I held up Fisty in front of the camera, it more or less tracked him and drew that box around him and labeled him appropriately. So that was promising. Um, the next one I did, I included myself in some of the photos so he could tell the difference between Fisty and me, which worked pretty good. So for the final one, um, I added a few more of his stuffed animals, because ideally I would like him to recognize four different ones, the ones I'm going to leave on the pedestal. And I added a crap ton more photos of these complex shapes, more images of myself. It's not quite there yet, I'm still honing it in. He can't really tell what the difference is between all the different stuffed animals. As soon as I get it working optimally, I'm definitely going to post an update bragging about my success, or me and Mark's success rather, because he's, he's the troubleshooting genius. So we're training the kid. Till we get that, we hit that milestone. Uh, as always, keep making awesome stuff out there and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Noodle's reality TV show, The, the Real Fisty. Fisty, The Search. <laughs>